In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best route combinations in the game to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Also be able to beat those pesky 30-yard cloud flats that a lot of people like to use uh, to try to slow down different types of flooding combinations. And this is a play that I broke down in the beginning of the year. wanted to revisit it because it is that good. And I wanted to revisit it through a little bit of a different lens um, than I did last time because of how pass protection has changed in the course of Madden uh, 22. So uh, we're going to be taking a look today at the mesh post out of the gun bunch. Now mesh post is one of the best concepts year in and year out. And we're going to show you why in this game it's even better than you might think. Now, if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, there's a link in the description where you can go join our Patreon membership. Our Patreon membership features over 27 offensive and defensive full eBooks, including the gun bunch. And we've got a ton more on the way. We've got a lot planned for the summer, even though summer is typically a downtime in Madden. It's a great time to be able to get better because you can actually take a look and experiment with things that you might not have been able to experiment during the competitive season. So we've got a lot of really cool content planned for the summer you gonna be really diving deep into zone coverages what they do why things work the way they work year in and year out over the course of the season so if you want to get access to all of our advanced stuff in our ebooks again that'll be linked in the description you can join the membership for just 10 bucks get you access to everything over there okay we're gonna be taking a look today at the mesh post and uh, I wanted to talk about this through the lens I want I, we're just gonna watch this route develop what you're gonna see here is this post if we just wait on this, you're gonna see that the route will actually run and then it will stop at the numbers. What makes this so good is the fact that Bunch is able to easily be able to be flipped. And what you wanna do is you wanna run this with your Bunch formation to the wide side of the field. Now, most people expect whatever you run um, with a formation to the wide side of the field that the you know wide side of the field will be where you wanna attack with your crossing routes. It's not like that in this play. What you're going to notice is that we can actually throw this uh, deep post to Miller with a pass lead straight up, and you're going to see it's going to get over the top of 30 yard clouds. Now, I'm going to show you another or um, one of the other features of this route that most people sleep on this year, um, just just based on kind of tendencies. A lot of people run bunch trail. A lot of people run Z spot and go. A lot of people don't really run mesh posts, at least the way that I'm going to show it to you right now. So we know that the meta in Madden 22, at least right now, is kind of gravitating defensively, at least, to man-to-man -man coverage, especially against bunch, especially against tight. Um, people are liking the man-to-man. -man. So all we're going to do with this play, we also know that blocking a tight end on a bunch is probably the best pass protection this year. So you want to block your tight end. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have a really good ability to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. All we're gonna do is we're going to fade the outside receiver one-on-one. -on -one. If you wanted to put him on a skinny post, if you have the ability to do that, you certainly can. We're then going to take Chris Godwin and we're gonna put him on a slant. And then what I like to do with the running back is put him on an out route. And we basically have three, um, at least three routes that are going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. This slant's going to beat man right in that little pocket right there. You see how you can kind of throw it in between the zones, and it's one of the other things that you can do. Now, if you wanted to put, um, if you wanted to send everybody out on a route, you certainly could with this. I don't like five out this year because I feel like offense is already not too challenging just in terms of like, you know, you can get people open. But if you wanted to send five out, you could uh, just put the running back on a little block and release or uh, leave that tight end flat route. What you'll see is he'll pull that curl flat all the way outside of the field and it leaves the whole middle of the field now where you can hit your, um, your little crossing route to Chris Godwin. Now that's not the only thing that you can do on this concept. Another thing that you can do that is really, really, really effective is you can run this very simple um, this very simple post route to Scotty Miller. So I'll show you that real quick here. And again, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to block your tight end, you could, and then you could actually take your running back and put him on an in route as well. This is a little bit hairier of a route combo just because they're running right into the same area. But you'll notice that this route to Scotty Miller, a lot of times will beat man to man. Might need a little bit better route running than Scotty Miller has, unfortunately. But for the most part, this route's gonna beat man just fine for you. I'll show it to you one more time. 
And again, you've got, you know, I personally will typically, if I'm going to put the running back on a route, he's going to go on out to the left. I don't really feel like it's that big of a deal to have a pull route over there. But notice this post, if you, it's going to look a little tight, but if you have deep out elite, it becomes a very good post route. Now, another thing that I want to show you as far as using this for is the double Mabel meta. So if you're playing somebody that likes to run a lot of zone, this is also a really good concept for a number of different reasons. The one that we're going to focus in on right now is the fact that the whole middle of the field is cleared out, but also this route to Scotty Miller. A lot of people are going to think that a 30 yard cloud flat is going to be able to cover this. But if you step up in the pocket, pass lead it straight up, you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to get that over the top of a 30 yard cloud. Not only are you going to be able to get that route over the top of a 30 yard cloud, so now they have to run over the middle of the field and go user that route to be able to take it away. But the other thing that you have going for you, um, just in terms of this concept alone, is you have this little out route you can hit if they're not playing hard flats. And then you can kind of pass lead this slant through the different zones to be able to easily beat the defense. This is one of the best concepts year in and year out. And it's one of my favorite plays out of the bunch of formations. Great for match, great for man, great for zone drops. It's an every defense type of play. And I think it's one of the best plays this year. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the gun bunch formation, how you can get better at offense in this game, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's also got a ton of defensive content. We actually went defensive heavy this year, trying to really walk you through how you can improve on both sides of the ball. So if you want to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to join our membership. The link is in the description. You can sign up today for just $10 and it will get you access to everything over at the Patreon page.